Hey guys, it's Michael Mix back for another video. Got a new setup, painted my walls. I moved my whole room around. I have to make room into it in my next few videos. But today I'm going to be talking about the shoe market crashing. And when I beat my the shoe market crashing, it is a great time to be buying shoes right now. Why you may ask? Uh, because a lot of shoes you can walk into a lot of shoe places locally, um, in malls everywhere. And you can basically buy anything you want, comfort, style, anything, uh, for a decent price. Um, you can buy relatively hype sneakers if you want, depends where you go. This is also part of why the shoe market is crashing, because resellers now can't make as much money as they used to, because um, shoes are heavily acquired by shoe stores. Now sneaker resellers can't make as much money because people just go into stores and buy them off the shelves. But I'd like to say the main reason is because inflation. Inflation is at an all time high right now and people just don't have as much money to be spending on shoes. Uh, people would rather spend like 60 to $100 on sneakers rather than hundreds or a thousand dollars on a pair of sneakers. The highest point in the sneaker market maybe was probably 2021 um when everybody was getting stimulus checks from the government which allowed them to have more money for buying sneakers and anything they want because they got an extra income every month but now since inflation is crazy they don't have as much money to be spending on sneakers as they used to one of the type shoes from nike is uh the dunk mainly the panda around that time 2021 everybody was trying to have panda dunks they weren't crazy comfortable but everybody was just trying to have them it was a trend you could walk by and five a group of five people and all have panda dunks on they were crazy so when nike saw this they were just like mm, we'll make different colors red one, red ones pink ones any color you could even think of um color combos they tried to make and they made tons of dunk colors with also tons of them in mass production uh which slowly dropped the prices down of them because they weren't as in high demand since nike was making so many of them and when they made all these dunks uh nike thought when they released all these colors that it would draw more people into buying more shoes but uh, basically what it did is when they bought the dunks they decided the shoe was what they wanted or the shoe was not what they wanted and it what they wanted they bought some other shoes but well if they decide it wasn't for them they just buy they would stop buying from them here's the part that recently happened recently or somewhat recently i mean a hellcat was sued eight million dollars for a quote-unquote counterfeit of their jordan one here's a picture of it it has like a lightning bolt instead of the um has a lightning bolt instead of the nike swoosh um there's a signature where the Jordan logo is supposed to be. And those are basically the only differences. Um, also, Cool Kai was sued for $1 million when with like the same design as I mean, a Hellcat. Also, another reason for counterfeit sneaker places be being shut down is because they're releasing the same uh, shoe or relatively the same shoe as Nike, the same color with same design, everything. They look so similar to the real ones that you can barely tell. Also, people have realized that, say, a Jordan cost them like $20, $30 to make, and they're selling it for like $120, $150, depends on the Jordan. And people are fed up with this, that's why they're making their own type of Jordans. But they're getting closed down basically because you have to go through a lot of like wiring and of other stuff to even get the fake shoe because they are copying the jordan thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye